Hello, welcome to this week's studio vlog. So today is Tuesday. I didn't film anything yesterday because I took a break from my illustration work to go see family and I went to go and have a haircut as well. It's a lot shorter now because I did that thing where you kind of act on an adrenaline rush and you ask the hairdresser to take it up another inch and then you end up sitting there looking at yourself thinking, what have I done? I have now become a wild bush baby. So yeah, that's my week so far. I'm just hoping it doesn't look too bad. This week in terms of work, I want to get two new stickers done and up on my shop. I want to make a start on a th on another print. And another thing that I know that I need to get out of the back of my mind and actually onto paper is to start working on branding. And I don't know if it's just me, but with branding, I've been putting it off because I have like a perfectionist mind towards my work where I want to get it perfect and I want to get it right. Um, so the idea of putting all of my work into one logo with one font or a limited color palette or using one character to define all of my illustration work, it kind of feels a little bit overwhelming and I don't know if anyone else feels that way and if you have any tips with that then please do share because I've been putting that off but I know that I need to start on it. I think actually I might look at some Skillshare classes on that to see if there is anything or if there are any tips from any YouTube videos. So that's another thing for this week or maybe next week but yes I do need to get it done this month. Um, other than that in this week's studio vlog I can show you a mini Etsy haul because I did some online shopping there so I can share with you some cool things from other small businesses. And other than that, I don't know what else to say. I can't remember what I was going to say. Anyway, without any further ado, let's get into this week's studio vlog. So what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to develop this design and choose a colour palette and I do that by repeating the thumbnail sketch um, numerous times in my sketchbook and just experimenting with colour until I can refine the design and choose a specific colour palette and doing it this way helps me eliminate any waste of my actual watercolour paper and the watercolour paints and my ink. Um, so that's recommended for illustrators so that you're not going to be wasting so much of the more expensive products that you use to create your artwork. Obviously it's different if you work digitally but this is how I do it working traditionally. So the main aim of this studio vlog was to try and get me in a better mindset for actually being productive with my work but at the minute I'm not really feeling it so I'm just going to take a step back and take the rest of the evening off and just see how tomorrow goes but today a couple more of my Etsy orders came so I thought I'd just show you them. 
So this is the first print and I'll show you um, the business cards of the people. So this is the first one that I got. So this is the little note card that came with it. It's a little thank you card. I don't know if you can see on the bottom there the um, website of this illustrator. She's called Amy as well. She does a lot of landscape illustrations. So this is one, I think it might be from the most recent book that she illustrated. I really like the textures and colours in that. I've been wanting to get some prints to put up in the studio space here for some inspiration. So I'm gonna get a frame when I can next go to Ikea for this one. So the next happy mail. I haven't opened any of these yet. I'm opening them on camera. See if there's a business card. No. So I'm hoping I'm saying this person's name right. I met this illustrator at the Craft and Flea Market in Manchester. Um, was it last year or earlier this year? I don't remember now, but um, this is her social medias and her business card for you to see all of her links. I think you pronounce it as Natalia. This is the card that I got from her. I really like cats and I really like this birthday card design. And the last piece of happy mail for today is by an illustrator called Lucy Hook and her um, Instagram is Lucy Hook Designs. I really like this little design of this thank you card. It's really cute, I like the colours and it's nicely packaged as well, this order. And I like keeping these things because if you can reuse and recycle um, any packaging materials, that's what I try and do, just to be a little bit more eco-friendly. I bought um, a set of note cards from her, which I think are really pretty. So they're gonna be added to my card collection, but they're really cute. I think I'm still waiting on one more order to come, but when that arrives, I'll show you, or I'll just include it in the studio tour once I've actually got all the prints up on the wall.
it's Wednesday now and I had signed off from the vlog yesterday earlier than I wanted to because I wasn't feeling very well. I'm still not feeling 100% today, but I'm hoping that this sick feeling will pass soon. But I had some good news come through yesterday. I have had confirmation that the craft market that I was supposed to take part in earlier this year has now been rescheduled to be um, taking place on the 3rd of October in Manchester, in the Manchester Cathedral. And I'm doing that with the Craft and Flea market event and I'm really excited and I'm really nervous because it's going to be my first ever in-person craft market but yeah I'm more excited than anything and I've made a list of all the products that I want to get done before then so in these studio vlogs I'll take you along through the design process and bringing these products to life but I thought I'd show you the list of what I want to get done now. Although the craft market isn't until the 3rd of October, I've set myself a deadline of the 26th of September and this is the week before which will allow me to have enough time to do practice runs of how I want the table to be set up so that hopefully it will go smoothly on the day and it will give me extra time just in case I need to outsource any products and to get them here in time and to pack everything up ready to travel to Manchester. So. The product ideas that I've got in mind that I want to work on over the next few weeks are as follows. I've decided that I want to make five new stickers, a pack of note cards, hopefully that will be a set of nine. I want to make, and I need to make, more Match the Mini Beasts games for my Etsy shop and to take with me. I've also got some print ideas that I want to work on. So I'm in the process of penciling out a draft for the panther print that I've got in mind. I maybe want to revisit the leopards in trees and I definitely know I want to do a second greenhouse print but this time make it a portrait version. And the last idea that I've got is to do a woodland print. So today I'm going to make a start on another sticker design and I'll see where I go from there. It's Thursday now and I've finished the pencil outline of the Numbat and I've inked out the quail so today's goal is to just finalise the artwork for these two creatures and turn them into stickers so that I can get them up in the shop tomorrow, hopefully before I publish this vlog on YouTube.
Good morning, it's now Friday and so far this morning I finished cutting out the last of the glossy quail stickers. So now all of these stickers are ready to go up in my shop, I just need to do some product photos of them. For some reason though the glossy ones always seem to come out slightly more vibrant in colour than the matte ones so I'm going to have a look at the print settings about that to see what I can do. I'm really happy with these, I think the numbat stickers are really cute but I do like the quails as well and I hope that you like them and that they bring a little bit of happiness to your day too. I'll leave a link in the description in case you want to get either of these and I'll leave the measurements in the description of the listing in my Etsy shop too. Today's plan is to watch some Skillshare and YouTube videos to hopefully help me with developing my branding and um, also I may continue with that thumbnail sketch that I was doing for that print idea. So that's today's plan and I'll finish editing this vlog now so I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.